And in 1991, after the Kiowa Ryder Cup and uh, just before the Volvo Masters, he asked if I'd like to get up early in the morning with the crews and get out there at five o'clock and sweep the greens. And I think he just wanted to see if I was capable of doing a bit of work. And uh, so I did that through the tournament. And after the tournament, he asked me if I'd like to get involved in a kind of secret venture at that stage. He, he just said to me, uh, James, I really want to get the Ryder Cup to Valderrama. Would you like to help me? I put a bid in in Easter uh, 92. It still hadn't been decided to even come to Spain. I remember when I gave it to the press and to the British uh, and to the PGA and the Ryder Cup committee, they said, but Jimmy, we haven't decided to go to Spain and you already bid in. I said, well, let's, I just don't want you to say you haven't got a golf, golf course that will host it. We will host it if it comes to that. It was a dream that came true. I mean, it's the greatest event you can have and I felt very honored and very lucky to have this course and very grateful to the people who helped me build it, that we could really offer something that I think is quite spectacular. Well, I think Valderrama is going to be a fabulous test for the Ryder Cup. It's a, a great golf course in its own right, but it is a fabulous match play golf course. Uh, there's going to be a lot of uh, a lot of holes that are that are going to create some very exciting situations. Uh, there are going to be holes that are that are won with pars. There's probably going to be some holes won with bogeys, and may even be some holes won with double bogeys. Um, it is a very demanding golf course that, that because of the, the way the trees overhang the fairways and overhang the green, it's going to create some exciting shots. When it was Great Britain versus the United States, it got, as Jack Nicklaus said, we all want to play for our country, but it's becoming too easy. And uh, Jack Nicklaus had uh, the foresight to say to Lord Derby, who was then president of the PGA of Great Britain, you should join in with your team, the European stars, continental European, Seve Ballesteros, uh, Bernard Langer. Lord Derby said that's a good idea, and he had the foresight to say, all right, we'll bring all the Europeans onto the British team, and we call it the European team. Historically, or at least since 1983, the Ryder Cup matches have been even. And any team that thinks they've got a little bit of an edge or a little bit of superiority soon finds out that that's not the case. And, and uh, uh, anybody that, that's bold enough to make predictions on who wins the Ryder Cup is uh, uh, certainly subjecting themselves to one quick knockdown. <laughs>